great twist ending, big reveal, or hidden meaning can make a movie even more fun to watch and rewatch. But sometimes it's the fans who end up crafting a theory that makes the original film seem even more brilliant than it is on its own. But every so often, they make watching a classic movie twice as much fun. This list was inspired by our friends at The Film Theorists, so make sure you stick around until the end to check out their new video. Here are Screen Rant's 10 movie theories that completely change popular films. The Lord of the Rings From the moment the giant eagles arrived to fly Frodo and Sam out of Mordor, fans and critics all asked the same question. Why didn't Gandalf the Grey just get the eagles to fly the ring into Mordor and destroy it the moment he found it? One fan theory claims that was Gandalf's plan the entire time. But with Sauron's spies lurking everywhere, he couldn't share the plan until the Fellowship was in the clear. On the other side of the mountains where the evil wizard Saruman couldn't stop them or send word ahead to Mordor. But when Gandalf ended up falling into the depths of Moria, he'd forgotten about it completely when he returned as Gandalf the White. Apparently, his last words to the Fellowship tried to clue them in. Die, you fools! <laughs> the Nightmare Before Christmas Tim Burton's stop-motion musical was a surprise hit, making Jack Skellington, his ghost dog Zero, and the vampire skeletons and zombie residents of Halloween Town a kid's classic. But fans started getting suspicious when years later, Burton released The Corpse Bride, the story of a tall, thin man named Victor who took a trip to the land of the dead. A colorful world of skeletons and zombies where he reunited with his skeletal dog Scraps. And when Frank and Weenie start a young boy also named Victor, bringing his dog Sparky back from the dead, one theory emerged. Burton was telling the story of one man and his dog, but in reverse order. Mad Max Fury Road When the mantle of Mad Max was handed to a new actor for Fury Road, it was clear fans would need to use their imagination. But as soon as the movie was released, diehard fans saw a secret story underneath the surface. But one theory claims Tom Hardy wasn't playing Max Rokotansky at all, but the young feral kid from Mad Max 2, the road warrior, all grown up. The kid grew up to idolize Max, keeping his music box as a gift and dressing like his former hero. Only when he truly became a hero did he take up his idol's name for himself. Max. My name is Max. James Bond. The multiple actors who played 007 make it hard to see the film series as one long story. But one creative theory solves the problem. What if James Bond is only a code name reserved for the agents claiming the 007 title? It would explain why James regularly uses his real name despite being a secret agent. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Who are you? My name is Bond. James Bond. And would help MI6's top agent gain legendary status around the world. When one gets too old or is captured, a younger agent takes his place as Bond. If it sounds good to you, fans can also look at Michael Bay's The Rock as something of a sequel to Diamonds Are Forever, with Sean Connery playing a British spy who spends three decades in prison since according to America and England, he never existed. Drag Me to Hell Sam Raimi's grotesque horror story of a young woman cursed by an elderly witch fits right in with the director's Evil Dead roots. But what if the movie isn't supernatural at all? If you pay close attention to the character's childhood obesity, the movie makes way more sense as a woman with an eating disorder slowly driving herself insane, according to one theory at least. Notice how the vomiting witch always shows up in the kitchen or tries to shove things down the main character's throat? Or how a piece of cake comes to life to keep her from eating? Eventually, her illusions drive her past the brink, and she commits suicide by jumping out in front of a train convincing herself it's the work of a curse and not the side effects of starving herself beyond reason. Dark. Harry Potter The story of the greatest boy wizard began under a staircase in the home of the Dursleys, the worst adoptive parents you could have. But why were Harry Potter's aunt and uncle so cruel, and why would his mother have left her son with such awful people? One answer can be found when fans remember the effect of a single horcrux in the Deathly Hallows. The piece of Voldemort's soul contained in a cursed locket that fed on those around it, darkening their spirits until even the trio of best friends were paranoid and filled with hate and jealousy. If Dumbledore was actually right when he called Harry a kind of horcrux, it explains why his aunt and uncle might have been a loving family when Harry arrived, before years of sharing their home with a piece of Voldemort made them the cruel monsters audiences saw. The Pixar Theory What if every Pixar film is telling one massive story but it's just told out of order. It's clear that the company BNL, visible in Pixar films, is responsible for killing Earth and Wally. 
but only after the Age of the Incredible superheroes ended with their magic passed on to intelligent animals or cars. Some parts of the theory are hard to believe, but the best idea claims the Stars of Monsters Inc. were using closets to travel back in time, eventually leading Boo centuries back in time trying to find her furry friend. That explains why the Witch in Brave has carvings of Sully and the modern-day Pizza Planet truck. Star Wars There's nothing the Jedi love more than a prophecy, and the Star Wars prequel trilogy was based on probably the most important one ever written. In the time of greatest despair, a child shall be born, who will destroy the Sith and bring balance to the Force. Officially, Anakin Skywalker was this chosen one, who tragically fell to the dark side and took the galaxy and Jedi Order with him. You were the chosen one! But some fans point out that Anakin wasn't born in a time of great despair. His son Luke was. It was a twist of fate that led Luke into becoming a Jedi, and he ended up destroying the Sith by saving his father. Who didn't just redeem his father, but proved the prophecy true after all. Aladdin Older Disney fans may not remember that the story of Aladdin begins with a quippy shopkeeper in Agrabah looking to sell the audience on a golden lamp. But when the stars get their happy ending, the shopkeeper never returns. Theories began to spread that the entire movie was just made up to sell the lamp, since Robin Williams voiced both the genie and the energetic peddler. Either that or being genie turned him into a powerless human. Thankfully, the co-directors recently confirmed that Aladdin originally ended with the shopkeeper revealing himself to be genie, making the entire movie a retelling of how he earned his freedom years or maybe even centuries before. Instead, Disney kept things simple and open to sequels. The Thing Every horror movie can learn a lesson from John Carpenter's Antarctic Horror Story, where an alien capable of mimicking humans starts picking off a research team one by one. In the end, only Kurt Russell's hero McCready and Keith David's Childs remain. The movie ends with the men slowly freezing to death, wondering if the other one is the alien in disguise. But one theory makes the ending a lot clearer. When McCready is introduced, he's losing a game of chess against a computer but he gets the last laugh with a glass of scotch. The same scene is repeated in the real-life game of chess at the end, only it's not scotch in the bottle, it's a Molotov cocktail from earlier in the movie, and Childs drinking straight gasoline reveals he's the alien. McCready laughs since the script and the actor confirm he's hiding a flamethrower just outside the frame. If you're a fan of Star Wars like us, make sure you check out our friends at The Film Theorists with their new groundbreaking video about how Luke Skywalker might have turned to the dark side in The Force Awakens. They go in depth and bring forward new clues about this incredible theory, and make sure you subscribe while you're over there. Those are the best theories fans have come up with that we could find, but which ones have we missed? Let us know what you think of them in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanks!